Hello, and welcome after a long break back to the Crimson Sith channel to watch some of your great uh, and favorite Star Wars miniature battles. Alright, this one was requested by a subscriber a long time ago. I know I've been uh, lacking in my duties as a YouTuber, but uh, I'm going to crank out a lot of videos here really quick. So uh, stay subscribed, and if you're not subscribed, uh, go ahead and click. Uh, today we're going to see the revenge of Darth Kryat uh, versus the young, uh, against the Yuzen Vong. So basically, a little backstory: the Yuzen Vong came from another galaxy, and they have a kind of natural immunity to the Force. So Force powers don't work on them in this game. And I only have a handful of them, so to be fair, I had to basically give Darth Cryot basically no one to help him. So what I've set up here today is a squad of Yezin Vong have basically completely crushed this New Republic force because in the now Legends story of uh, the expanded universe of Star Wars, Yezin Vong came in from another galaxy, uh, crushed the Republic and crushed the Sith and that they had to kind of band together and uh, to defeat the Yuzen Vong. So, and Darth Kryat was captured by the Yuzen Vong long ago, uh, tortured and tested on, they experimented on him, and uh, that's why he has this weird Yuzen Vong looking armor on. Uh, Darth Kryat is up here. Uh, one of the harder figures to find. Um, I got him just for this video because it was suggested. And I'll, I'll do the same for any of my subscribers. If you want to see a video, let me know. If I don't have the figure, I will track it down and get make sure I get it. I have most characters in the game, but I am missing a few. So uh, uh, go ahead and feel free. I might, in fact, buy some more Yuzen Vong and, uh, now, that, now that I'm doing videos again and do a larger scale battle, battle of this, but I came up with this unique scenario where this base, as you see in this map, there's the outer part of the base has been crushed and uh, the inner part of the base has been infiltrated. Uh, it's a New Republic base and there's our New Republic guys. We have a commander up with the green cape in the front. He's a New Republic commander. And then behind him we have a Galactic Alliance trooper. He's one of the people from that era that, were, that when they banded together to try to fight the Yuzen Vong. And then we have a mercenary guy up there. His name is Talon uh, Karaid, or Karaid. Uh, basically, he is a mercenary, but he's identified with the New Republic. He's a New Republic-esque uh, character. And there's his card. Uh, he has a unique ability to give some reinforcements. Every round, he gets to roll initiative twice. And if he rolls a 11, or if 11 is his initiative roll for the round, then he gets 20 points of fringe reinforcements that can come in and enter the battlefield. So the way I'm going to play it is, if that happens, they're going to have to come through either this door or that door in the back. Because doors are silver with those little blue squares dotted in them. Now Darth Cryot is going to come in the midst of this battle. I'm having him start one square in in that far door. He is the bulk of the forces here that's going to even things out. He's going to come in, not so much to save the New Republic people, but more of to destroy the Yuzen Vong for their experimentation. So this is the Yuzen Vong force. The leader here is basically this guardian. He's kind of the highest ranking guy. He's the guy with the red uh, snake staff thing. And then uh, and we just have a bunch of... Uh, different type of Yuzen Vong guys. They're all weird people. It's hard to describe, but the uh, strongest two besides him is this guy with the snake thing in the back and the guy with the snake thing up there in the all black with the bald head. And then uh, from there on it's fairly even. I mean you can pick and choose which one's slightly better, but they're all about the same, kind of different types of minions. They're all immune to the forest, every single one of them. 
Uh, so Darth Kryat will have an interesting time. He has Force Renewal, so he'll have all the points he can use. Uh, but he can only use effects to help himself. He won't be able to use any Force powers that hurt the Yuzen Vong. It won't work. Uh, so, say Force uh, Lightning. Completely, they are completely invulnerable to Force Lightning. That is a useless ability for him. So it's going to be an interesting fight. The only thing he's going to be able to do is to increase the base force powers, basically, to increase his uh, uh, movement speed and get a reroll when a defending. I'm actually not even sure in the rules if I can even do that. The rules of force immunity have got to be on there. Um, enemies cannot affect this character with force powers or spend force points to reroll attacks against this character or respond to this character's attacks with abilities. Okay, wow. So, he can't do anything except for increase his movement speed with force chips. Interesting. Okay. He's pretty powerful already. He has uh, living armor, just like they do. Uh, that makes them very hard to do damage. They don't have a lot of health. Uh, well, I guess those few do, but the other guys don't have a lot of health. <clears throat> but they are still extremely hard to kill because their armor can shrug off uh, damage quite easily. So yeah, it's four people versus nine people. And uh, I was going to have more New Republic people, but I didn't realize how shy I was on uh, Yuz and Vaughn characters. I kind of am lacking. So without further ado, I'm going to go in and roll initiatives. I'll just do that now. So first, it's going to be the roll for Darth Kryat. Well, we'll do Yuzen Vong first because they can. Uh, the other side gets to roll twice. So first off, we get a 10 for the Yuzen Vong force, and then uh, Talon is going to allow his side to roll twice. Their first roll is an 18. That's good, but I'm going to try to go for the reinforcements since the Ozvong had a low roll. I'm going to reroll 12. All right. It's not 11, but it still beats the 10. So the New Republic will have initiative this time. Uh, a bunch of the doors have been broken down in, in the base, as you can see on the map. So they're not complete doors over here, over by the, uh, the barracks and the security station. Uh, that wall has been torn down. So, there is a door over there and over here, up here, but um, again, there's no door, there's just some debris in that last thing that leads into that cargo bay. And there are some doors up there, so it's going to take Cryd a little bit to get over there, but he has all the force chips he's going to need and he can increase his speed, so. Alright, I'm going to check back in without uh, wasting any more of your time with the first, uh, the end of the first round. The end of the first round, and there has been no firing. The New Republic gave some ground. They got back into uh, those crates. They, uh, they all took cover, basically, on these green squares to get some uh, cover. And uh, the Ozen Vong has, they have charged through the void over those characters that are in the room now. They moved to last. There's a lot more Yuzen Vong than there are uh, New Republic. So they waited till all the New Republic characters had activated, and then those ones rushed in the room. Uh, the first ones just got different positions. The ones on the far end went over there and opened those doors. Uh, they kind of leapfrogged through the doors, and they're headed up there. They're going to try to sneak around. Darth Cryat got stuck at the first door. It's going to take him another turn to even get in the, into the hallway down there. Um, these guys and Vong had to hold doors open for one another, and that um, then gave, gave the time necessary to have the <laughs> excuse me the last people charge into the room after the New Republic had activated. So now it's going to be some bloodshed. Uh, the leader of the guys and Vong just charged through. Uh, he's going to do a lot of damage. He's probably going to kill them all. Um, the one that has the most health in there is uh, Talon, uh, who has 60 hit points. The commander has 40, 
Trooper only has 10. Um, most of the Ozenfallen guys only give 10 damage, but uh, they're still extremely brutal. Uh, another thing they have, each Geos involving person has some type of like living grenade thing, they're called thud bugs. And uh, that's another reason why the New Republic split apart onto different areas there. Uh, they get no cover advantage with their, uh, um, with melee attacks. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, but um, it just made sense that if a lot of people are rushing you, that you get to a strategic position, and uh, that's what's happening. Plus, they'd rather be on the cover areas um, and not just hiding behind them because that would obstruct their own attacks. So anyway, um, I'm going to roll initiative for uh, Yuz and Vong. Starting off, they have a 15. That's very strong. That's going to be bad. New Republic's first roll is 11. <sighs> So they have the option, I believe now, the wording, I think they only get the initiative, uh, hmm, I rolled 11 for initiative, but, uh, hmm, I'm wondering now, I think I might, I'm rewriting, I reread the card. I think actually I can get the reinforcements, then re-roll. I don't think I have to take the roll if I'm reading right. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I could be doing this wrong, but I'm going to do that. So they're going to get 20 points reinforcements. That's going to help. I'm going to re-roll 13. Okay. So they're going to still lose on initiative, but uh, they will get 20 points reinforcements of fringe-only characters. Um, I'm going to put them in, and I'll show at the end of this next uh, round what went down. The first round of combat never fails to be bloody. Uh, right off the bat, Yuzen Vong uh, finished running, running into the room. Um, the one character over there just annihilated Talonbane Karad. Because they had initiative, um, one of the characters, I didn't even really look at the abilities before they came in. One of the first ones that had gotten in the room is a guy that gets an attack and damage bonus uh, against a character that is not yet attacked. And he has twin attack. And it got to increase his damage by 20. And he already deals 10. Karad had 60 hit points. He won both of those attacks. And uh, one hit Karad basically with his two attacks. Uh, then the dude with the snake, he ran around, failed the first attack, but he gets a twin attack as well. Second attack did 10 damage. That's all the uh, hit points the Galactic Trooper had. And then uh, these guys didn't get, uh, couldn't run fast enough to attack and move. So all they did was get next to the Galactic Commander. And uh, he shot one of them, but they got to reduce the damage. And uh, it was one of the good ones. He didn't move, so he got a uh, damage bonus as well, but they reduced it by 10, and that was his damage bonus. So it was like a regular hit. So the one that's hurt is the one right next to him, uh, but he still has 40 hit points left, and that's the total hit points for the new Republic Commando, or Commander. Um, but the reinf fringe reinforcements, we got a Gothical uh, Godel Fringer. He came in and failed his attack, and then the Rodanian mercenary, who had double attack, made two attacks, both rolled ones. So that's an automatic fail, if you know the rules of the game. Um, the Yuzen Vong over here didn't get a chance to really do anything before uh, Darth Cryot, who is behind the guy in the purple. You can see him holding his saber out there. He rushed up and uh, uh, swiped one of the other guys the guy that moved around to his left side and uh, did some damage. The Yuzen Vong reduced the damage with his armor by 10. They keep getting lucky with their saves, save rolls. And then the rest of them engaged him and surrounded him. No, no one was able to hurt Darth Cryot yet though. They all made attacks and they all couldn't penetrate his defense. Uh, but now the Yuzen Vong that are up here that were coming around the back 
uh, they're gonna come around. They're all gonna surround Darth Cryot. So he's gonna have a fight on his hands and there's a epic fight going on over here. I would not be surprised here if we don't get um, the New Republic now does not have their double uh, initiative rolls and they don't have reinforcements coming since uh, Talon is dead. But uh, if they don't roll for initiative and win this roll right now, I think we're going to see the commander absolutely die uh, in this very first round of combat because he's surrounded by two people, uh, or the two people with the full black armor, bald head. They both do a ton of damage and a ton of attack bonuses against people that have not yet activated this round. And that's uh, it's going to obliterate him. He won't stand a chance otherwise. Other, if, but if they get initiative, it will probably take everyone in that room to take the commander. So it's going to be a huge swing here on this roll. And a quick note on the, the Godel Fringer. He's an interesting person. Um, I, put, I brought him in. He's a heavy weapon. And he does very poor damage, but he has an ability called Disintegration. So if he rolls a 20, a natural 20, which is a critical, he just eliminates the character. The character just dies. It doesn't matter how much health they have, they're just dead. I mean, it's hard to do on a d20, but um, gives him a chance. So here's the initiative roll first. He has in Vaughn, 12. That's respectable. And the New Republic. That's a uh, cock dice, so we roll seven. All right, that's not looking good for the New Republic. I will, re I will report back after this next round. So we have got a show in store for you. So over here, the guys in Vong just cleaned up the room. They uh, eliminated the New Republic commander the same as they did to Talon. Um, then the rest of them rushed them. Uh, they didn't move all the way to them because they wanted to throw thud bugs. Um, however, they all failed somehow. Um, one of them succeeded and it killed the Godel because he only had 10 hit points. And that uh, did 10 damage to the Rodanian mercenary who has 20 hit points. So he's almost dead. And absolutely is going to die soon because he's surrounded but uh, by the strongest of the Yuzen Vong. He did manage to do 10 damage to one of the Yuzen Vong in there. Uh, the wounded guy that already had some damage from uh, the Re Republic commander last uh, last turn. Which I, I think I forgot to mention. And then over here, the Yuzen Vong continued to surround um, Darth Cryot, and I actually forgot the dude in the purple dress thing he, without a shirt on he's actually the commander, I screwed that up uh, he's not the strongest character the guy with the red snake is but um, he actually is the only one that has a commander effect uh, he is quite a bit stronger than some of the little subordinate soldiers that are around him but uh, he's pretty good, he's providing double attack to uh, all the Yuzen Vong characters. Uh, so they're getting some extra attacks against Cryot. One of them, they all surrounded Cryot. One of them managed to get a hit on him. And uh, unfortunately, he also has that good armor because they experimented on him. So it completely shrugged off all the damage because they only did 10 damage to him. Because the Jedi Hunters are in the other room finishing off the mercenaries. Um, so. These soldiers are basically fodder unless he rolls absolutely horrible on his armor saves. So uh, Darth Cryot came in and uh, did some real work on their car uh, their characters. He killed one of them and uh, wounded several others. So these are the there's the commander right there, the guy with the staff. He got hurt. He reduced some of the damage. They are rolling amazing on their saves, by the way. Uh, only one time did a, then one Yuzen Vong not make a save on their armor, and uh, it was it was because they had the worst version of the armor. But uh, they are just beating all the odds, and but they're still going to get 
absolutely slotted, I think, by uh, Darth Cryot. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting game. The mercenary is going to die, for sure. But then uh, those other characters are in that room, I believe three of them have Jedi Hunter. So they're going to get an attack and damage bonus against Darth Cryot because he is Force-sensitive, even though he's not a Jedi. But uh, I still think, since he has better armor and better stats, and he's still remaining at full health because his armor is helping him, he might still be able to do it. Uh, but if you add up the points right now, Yuzen Vong's uh, force is winning because Darth Cryot by himself Though he is 76 points, there is still 122 points against him right now. So it's 122 to 76. Well, I guess technically the Rodanian, so 80, uh, 85 points versus 122. And initiative. Yuzen Vong is going to roll. A 17, if you can see that. And that's, they're probably going to go again. And the New Republic, 6. So Yosem Vong will be going again first. Let's uh, see if they can use that advantage against the Sith. So this turn probably went as someone would expect, but uh, a little more in the favor of, uh, well, actually, it's pretty even. Uh, one surprising element was it actually took two Yuzen Vong guys <clears throat> to finish off that Rodanian mercenary. Um, the weakest Yuzen Vong in the, in the room, like the regular trooper guy with the stick, he tried to kill him. He did twin attack, failed both attacks. And the Rodanian mercenary is not even that strong. <clears throat> he only had 10 hit points left. He just landed, needed to land a single hit, couldn't do it. So he failed, and then I had to use the uh, stronger dude, the uh, he was, you know like the third best guy in the, in the thing, second best, but you know there's two of them. <clears throat> so he finished him off. Then uh, the rest exited the room to try to take on Cryot, but I mean that was at the end. The Yuzen Vong actually started out. Uh, well, I guess first they killed the, the dude before he activated the mercenary. But then uh, Cryot activated, uh, he killed, he got a triple attack, I don't know if he had a triple attack. And uh, he killed another Yosen Vong trooper, he did some damage to their commander and to uh, the far outsider. Cryot is surrounded, he did take some hits this time. Uh, his armor didn't, only reduced one attack. And uh, it was a critical hit that was coming at him, so it doubled. The trooper's regular damage of just 10 to 20. Uh, Cryot reduced it down to 10. Um, but then he got another regular hit that was coming at him for 10 damage. And he could not reduce that. Uh, so he just took the 10. So Cryot has taken 20 damage. That brings him down to 110. So he has 110 hit points still. But these guys that are coming in from the other room... Uh, they have a lot of health. They have 60, 60, and 80 hit points. I guess they do have some damage, but the most hurt one has 20 damage. So it's going to be interesting next few rounds. I'm going to roll for initiative and see what's going to happen. He doesn't fall in first, like usual. They have an 18. Then the New Republic. Sorry, this tripod's squeaky. A one. Wow. So that's an automatic fail for the New Republic, which actually I should be calling Darth Cryot because he's the only one left. And he's not New Republic. Uh, so he doesn't want to go first. That's bad news for Cryot. Um, those characters are going to rip him apart. They're going to get attack and damage bonuses. Um, so I will come back after uh, he has a new one ripped for him. All things considering, it could have been much worse for Cryot. Uh, Yuzen Vong rolled fairly poorly when attacking him. The uh, uh, Right off the bat, they wanted to attack him before he activated. So, uh, 
the guy with the uh, all black armor, his balls rushed up and attacked him. He got one of his good hits in, uh, but only one of his good hits in. Cryot's defense is really good, and Cryot reduced the damage, uh, so it wasn't quite as bad. It wasn't 30, it was only 20. But, I mean, it's still a good amount of damage. Then, uh, the far right sider also has a cunning attack type deal. And, uh, it's not 30, but it's, you know, 20 damage. He got it. And, uh, I don't believe Cryot reduced that one. His armor actually didn't hold out. So we took the full 20 again. And I don't remember anyone else hurting him. He's at 50. I'd have to look back. I don't remember all the attacks, but um, he's at 50 damage now. So he has another uh, 80 left. And then uh, he made his attacks. It doesn't say anything about... He has a, a sweeping attack. And it says I can't use it when I'm attacking them. But basically that ability replaces attacks and allows him to make an attack against everyone. So I used that, and uh, it killed one of the Yozenvong warriors, and uh, just did spread a little damage around. Their commander has reduced the damage every time Krite has attacked him, and so he's still alive, but he has 10 hit points left. So he won't survive another successful hit. And uh, only 10 damage got through on that black armor character. And then the red staff guy came later, so he didn't get any damage. Um, he rolled very poorly and uh, failed to get anything through on Cryot. And then uh, maybe he did get through 10, I don't remember. But I know the first roll was horrible. Oh no, he didn't get anything through. He failed both times. And then the two people on the back, they're still trying to get over to Cryot. So it'll take a few more. I'll take another round, one more turn to get over there. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the next round. Oh, I'm going to roll initiative. Yuz and Vong, see if they can keep up their trend. Fifteen. Not bad. Um, they're probably going to hold on to their going first. I'm going to re-roll that. Alright, now Darth Kryat's roll. Nine. Yep. They're going to go first again. So, uh, I'll come right back. So, something very dire has happened. It's not the end of the game, but it's not looking good for Cryot. He has suffered an amazing amount of damage. And uh, he, t he did a very good thing. So right off the bat, Yozen Vong had initiative again. And uh, they unleashed their powerful kind of attacks, did a a load of damage on them. They got them down uh, to 30 hit points left. So they have 100 damage on them. Uh, that's after Cryot even reducing every time. Um, and he comes in, he does a triple attack, takes two of the attacks on the black uh, armored bla uh, bald dude. Um, one is a hit that gets reduced, but the next one is a critical. Uh, so that's 40 damage. He only had 30 hit points left. Even with the 10 reduce, he was still dead. And then his last attack, because he's getting triple attacks, um, was against um, the commander with the purple dress thing. Uh, and he was able to kill him because uh, it was 20 damage. Even with the reduce, he'd still be dead. So he killed him and he stopped some of the extra attacks they're getting. So that's going to help, but if the Yuzen Vong get initiative, because they have one more guy that has cunning over there. Well, I guess technically a far outsider too, but... Um, oh, so what happened is then the Jedi Hunter came over and... or someone came over and was able to do some more damage to him. Uh, he got 20 more damage, so he is down to 10 hit points right now. He has 120 damage out of 130. And his armor reduce only reduces the damage by 10. Unless I've been doing that wrong. Yes, 10. And so he is in deep trouble. He can't run because he'll get he'll only get a single attack. And they'll still get double attacks. 
because they have twin attack. So he'll have to stand his ground and just try to beast through them. But if he doesn't get initiative, they're going to have... There's two characters still over there that will have cunning against him. And those bonuses, he won't stand a chance. Um, he's getting lucky that the Jedi Hunter is rolling poorly as well, but... Um, I just... Unless he just rolls basically nothing but criticals and gets initiative... Um, this game's going to be over. So, uh... Stay tuned. It's it's going to be an absolute miracle if he, he pulls out of this. Oh, man. I, I forgot to roll the initiative, but this was the craziest round of the entire game. Uh, Cried has a chance. He's still holding on with 10 hit points. He actually won the initiative for once. For once. The first time in the game, Yosemvong didn't get initiative. It was bound to turn, you'd think. And finally, he got his chance. He focused down the dude in the black armor that had the bald head uh, because he couldn't uh, he couldn't survive another round of him attacking so he hit him first round hits him his armor doesn't reduce it hits him again armor doesn't reduce him he already had 20 damage he's dead he hits one more attack attacks the other guy with cunning that was behind him the far outsider gets a hit that's 20 damage he can reduce it but it only reduces it by 10 he only had 10 left he's dead so he killed those two, then these guys attack, and they roll a 2, a 3, and a 2. That's not enough, even with their Jedi Hunter abilities, to pierce his defense. Oh my god. It was crazy. So now, no more cunning effects. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it kind of matters who attacks first, but it's not as big of a deal. Um, jeez. His triple attack, he's going to have to still stand his ground to get those triple attacks, but he has a chance. The only problem is that dude with the red staff has 80 hit points, and he can still reduce the damage that he takes. All these guys can do is do 10 damage to him. Uh, well, technically, the Jedi Hunter, I guess, guy does 20 to him. Um, so if he gets just one attack through on Cryot, Cryot's dead. But if the other guy hits him, Cryd has a chance to reduce the damage and still live. So Cryd's going to have to focus down that dude with the red staff. Um, if he gets initiative, he technically could kill him before he activates. But it would require him rolling a critical. And with him, I guess, there is a better chance because he has the ability... His criticals are in 19 and 20, not just 20. Um, so he has a slightly higher chance of that happening than the other people, but he, in my opinion, needs to get initiative here because the one guy has 30 hit points left, one guy has 80 hit points left, and Cryd has 10 hit points left. <laughs> the odds are so stacked against him, it, it is absolutely abysmal. So... I'm going to roll initiative on camera, because I forgot to do it last time, and I apologize. Of course, you know, I'm not filming in uh, the one time the actual initiative goes away from the Ezen Vong. So the Ezen Vong roll first. 17. Alright. It's not looking good. And now, for Cryot's roll. 13. Well, uphill swim. Let's see if Darth Cry can survive and kill the last remnants of the Ozen Vong to get his revenge for his suffering. So, interesting element. He still beat the odds um, and survived, but not really much happened this round. He did get a critical, and it was exciting. I thought for a moment he stood a chance. He rolled a 19 and uh, put 40 at him. Uh, the damage was reduced, so it was only 30 onto the red snake guy. Um, and he reduced, in fact, all his all the attacks that came at him. So Cryd hit him three times, and all those three times the damage was reduced. So it was basically 30, 10, and 10. And uh, 
so he still has 30 hit points left and he can reduce 10 each time. It's still going to be a massive uphill swim. The other guy is still full health at 30. Uh, Kryat's still at 10 because uh, his defense is awesome and uh, the guy that has the best chance of hitting him is not hitting him. Kryat? Two! You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so <laughs> it's going to be another uphill swim. Let's see if he can survive yet another a turn, another turn uh, against Yozen Vong, and I, I don't think, I think this is the last turn for him. Um, if it will be a true, a true uphill swing, a uh, true come from behind Cinderella tale if he, if he survives. All right, I had to. The round's not over yet. I had to pop in, so. The red snake guy continued to roll absolutely abysmal. He, he's only rolling single digits. I, I don't understand what's happening. And then the other character, the uh, regular Yozen Vong guy, rolls. It's a 20, and then it tips over, and it's a 2. And then he rolls again for the second twin attack. Same thing happens. The exact same thing. Oh. I was jumping up and down. And then Cryot rolls his very first roll and it's a 20. It is a 20. I don't believe it. So that's a critical hit on that armor, the uh, red snake guy. Even if he reduces, that's, that's 40 damage come at him. If he reduces 30, that's all he has. So he is now dead and now he has two more attacks left, Jarth Cry does, to make on the remaining trooper who has 30 total hit points. He has to either fail or this guy has to reduce both these attacks here. So I'm just going to do this live on camera because I can't even believe it. This is just stupid. Cry attacks, 19, that's a critical. Are you? Look at this. This is just disgusting. Okay, so that's that's 40 damage coming at him. It doesn't matter because he reduces by 10. He's still dead. It's still 30 hit points. He reduced it, but it doesn't matter. Oh my God! Cryit just won the game. Cryit just freaking won the game. I don't. I don't believe it. And you can you just watch me roll on the camera. That just happened. That just happened. Darth Cryot, with 10 hit points remaining, just ended the entire Yozen Vong force. Wow. That was the most exciting game of miniatures I think I've ever put up on uh, this channel. Wow. That is the closest game, I think. I'll have to rewatch some of my videos, but I, I don't remember it being this abysmal for a side and then just coming back and winning it that was disgusting and he still had another attack left <laughs> it's like Achilles out there yelling if there's anyone else there's the no one else alright so I have a bunch of videos to get through uh, people have been asking for separatist uh, like Clone Wars videos um, I was going to do a Darth Maul versus Grievous thing. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. If I should have droids forces on both sides or what. Um, still thinking about that. Uh, the Clone Wars one. I'm going to try to get to that too. I have so many different things I want to do with Clone Wars. Because I have way more clones and droids than uh, what I showed in the other um, Clone Wars videos. Um, I also have a Rank War now. And I also have an AT-AT, if you watch my unboxing videos. Um, so I have a lot of fun things I'm going to do. I'm going to do an epic, an epic slash colossal, whatever you want to call it, um, Battle of Hoth. It's going to have at least three AT-STs, -AT uh, one AT-AT, and... Uh, Probably all of my Rebel and Imperial, or most of my Rebel and Imperial um, forces. So you're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a crazy video. Uh, so go ahead and like them, subscribe, 
we got a lot of pretty awesome content coming for you. And just one more time for you. <laughs> Look at him. Look, he's, he's, the pose is so perfect. He's just, he's looking, he knows he's a boss. He knows it. He, he's, he's absolutely such a boss and he knows it. And another cool thing, I don't really talk about the figure. It's so detailed. I love these figures. One eye is blue, one eye is red, just like in the uh, Expanded Universe. I just love these hand-painted figures. The best thing game, uh, about the game is the figures. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. I just, I can't believe that game. <laughs>